hello guys welcome to my channel this is the eighth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can have style rules in a different document and uh, apply them to HTML tags in another document right so as you can see I've got two documents opened up in my text editor the one I have active right now is called external underscore CSS dot HTML and this is a document in which I have all the HTML code but as you can see I do not have a style section per se in the head section and uh, I do not have any in inline styles either for any of the uh, headings that are present in my body section so let's take a look at the body section first so within the body I have uh, four headings and uh, they're all of different uh, levels so I've got an h1 level heading an h2 h3 and h4 level heading as well so in the head section as you can see I have a link tag right and uh, this is used when you have all your CSS code in a different file and you want to pull out the style rules from that document and have them applied to the tags that you have in your HTML document so you have to type in link give a space type in rel or rel given an equal to symbol there and then within double quotes you have to type in style sheet right so this is going to instruct your browser that there is an external style sheet document through which the style rules have to be pulled and then you have to you know put in your type uh, values so type equals text or CSS and then you have to type in the href attribute so uh, people who have some experience with HTML would know what href is used for you know it's used for external linking so you type in href right h r e f given equal to sign again and then within double quotes you have to type in the location of your css file so you know i have my uh, css file in this folder so you know this is the path and the name of the document is css underscore master dot css so you have to be careful with the extension here the file in which you have all your css code will not have the dot html extension it will have the dot css extension so that's what you have to type in here so you have to type in the full path or if your html document and the css document are in the same folder then you could just type in the name of your css file here you know you could have just typed css underscore master dot css and it would have worked so this is what your html document is going to look like and inside the css underscore master file this is what i have so i've applied uh, two rules to the h2 and h3 level headings so I've changed the font style to italic so the text is going to appear in italic and I've also changed the color of the heading to blue so now let's see how this uh, you know this this file is going to appear in our browser so I'll go to the folder in which I have it and it's called external underscore CSS when I double click on it this is what I see so as you can see the level 1 and level 4 headings are appearing in black whereas the level 2 and level 3 headings are appearing in blue right so this is how you can have uh, all your CSS code in one file and this is very popular a lot of people do this instead of putting their CSS code in the same document as they have their HTML in they usually put it in a different file so that if changes have to be made they don't have to scroll down or look for tags or style rules and you know make the changes they could just make the changes at one place in the master document and they could apply the same to as many HTML files as they want right so that's it for this tutorial I'm gonna see you in the next video in which we'll explore more CSS and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll see you soon. Till then, take care.